Welcome to Sonex Adventures. We're not affiliated with Sonex Aircraft in any way, and this is not a paid promotion or endorsement of the product. Hey YouTube, John here with Sonex Adventures. Thanks for joining today. In today's flight, we're going to do some flying around. Doug and I were doing a maintenance flight in the local area, so I'm going to do some focus on the pattern, uh, the traffic pattern today. So thanks for joining. If you like the video, click the thumbs up and uh, think about subscribing and you'll get notifications when I post new videos. My goal is to do a video with every flight of the Sonics and just document the process along the way. Uh, thanks for watching. Fulton County Traffic Experimental 1 Uniform Delta going to be departing runway 9 Fulton County. We'll be departing the pattern to the northwest, Fulton County. Looking for good RPMs, we're good. Little forward pressure, get the tail up. Little right rudder, hold it. Yeah, see where it lags a little bit there? And go ahead and climb on out. Almost hit a bird. <laughs> Get that ball in there. Still needs a little trim. Our PMs are good, loaded. We're going right over there, Doug. All right. About 300 feet off the ground, 400. If 500, we'll do our left hand turn. Fulton County Traffic, Experimental 1 Uniform Delta, doing left crosswind. We'll be departing to the northwest, Fulton County. Keep that airspeed good, keep that ball in the middle there. All right, here's another camera angle from the wing as we taxi out to take off. Got my buddy Doug Bay in the cockpit with me. He's a mechanic and a good friend of mine. He's always out there helping me. And a couple things we were adjusting on this flight. We had to reroute the oil blow-by tube and a couple of other things. And uh, he's along for the ride here as we do a quick maintenance check. So here I start the acceleration, full throttle for takeoff, you know, smooth application of power. You can see it needs some rudder. Still trying to get a feel for, you know, should I push the nose forward like I do here, get the tail flying, you can see how much right rudder I'm having to add here, and I mentioned that in my headset communication from my light speed headsets, recording the audio from that, that's a new thing. Uh, and fly it off, so I like to keep the nose down and accelerate a little bit before I do my hard climb. This airplane, I typically try to climb out about 80 miles an hour. You know, depending on the density altitude, whether or not I get, you know, 800 feet a minute climbs, 500 feet a minute climbs, 1,000 feet a minute climbs. But single seat with just me in there, I can definitely uh, get some good speed there. I was pointing out in the audio if something happens, uh, what my emergency landing area was going to be. I always have that in the back of my mind. Uh, comes from experience. And uh, here, just making sure we get to 500 feet AGL, and then we go ahead and do our left hand turn out of the pattern which I also mentioned in the other comms but need to do a few things on the airplane to get it trimmed out I need a, a shim for the right rudder I don't have an adjustable tab on the rudder I might do a metal one I'm not really sure yet uh, but I've had to add a shim to the left aileron because one of the wings is heavy and just kind of still debugging the airplane basically it's brand new and still kind of you know feeling our way through what it needs but it flies great a lot of power it's the J Brew 3300 120 horse motor in there and it's got plenty of grunt and it gets up and goes and it was a beautiful day for flying as you could see it was crystal clear it was a little hot um, and you can see i put the sunshade in the canopy there but that really helps uh, but here we're turning out to the northwest so here i'm coming in and doing a low approach and really did this on this day specifically to check how bumpy it was going to be. You can see the windsock is pretty calm out there, but there was some wind and thermal activity. 
So came in, did a little approach, as you can see here, and doing the zoom climb. Here's another camera angle. I think we were doing about 140 miles an hour here. And you can see we're getting jostled a little bit here as we come in. And notice there's not a lot of traffic at the airport at this point. You'll see the difference when I come back around. Um, but yeah, so here's a low approach, probably three feet, five feet over the runway, not really sure. Uh, just again, getting a feel for how bumpy it's gonna be for the landing. And there's the zoom climb. All right, so here we are in the downwind side for left traffic, runway 9, Fulton County, 1,000 feet AGL. And at this point, I'm starting to pull some power off. You can see the engine um, RPMs change there with the propeller. Basically starting to slow down and pick up my 45 degree point back to the runway where I want to touch down and start trimming the airplane out for, at this point, 100 miles an hour. Uh, you know, you could, in this case, start putting in flaps. I didn't put flaps in yet. I wasn't sure if I would use them or not. Here I'm slowing down to 80 miles an hour. Technically it's 78 miles an hour is the two passenger speed. You want to be in the pattern here as you turn left base and then turn to final. I knew there was a little bit of wind out of the north. It, was, it wasn't a lot, but it definitely pushed me a little past the runway. You'll see I do a little bit of an overshoot. Didn't get real aggressive here on my left turn into final um, and again just getting a feel for this airplane I've mentioned it the engine will not slow down very fast when I pull power off that propeller is not a very big flywheel or brake my triplane engine RPMs drop off much quicker um, but anyway my technique here is to go in and put on a little bit of flaps you'll see the nose come up here and then I readjust the trim of the airplane here for the speeds I want um, but I like to crab. Uh, if there's any crosswind at all, I like to do a crab. It's mainly just less fatiguing uh, than having to hold left wing down, right rudder, or in this case from a, a crosswind from the left. Uh, so I'm crabbing here, kind of just making sure we stay on that center line there, a little bit of an adjustment. Good on the glide scope, good on the speeds. Here I start pulling power and trying to slow the airplane down and the engine down to the point where I can really start you know, decelerating the airplane. One thing I've noticed on this airplane, I've never done a three-point landing stall, uh, even close. I have done some stalls in it. Uh, but you'll see, I, I do my flare here, kind of feeling for it, touch the tail wheel, and then the mains just slightly bounce there. I don't know if that's my technique. I'm not really sure. I've three-point landed this airplane. I've never done a wheel landing in this airplane. And like I said, just getting a feel for it. I've got about 15 hours in it now at this point, and I don't know how many landings. I'd have to go back and look at the log books. Uh, but still getting this, that slight bounce. So I'm gonna keep working on slowing the thing down. Um, and I've never even done a full flap landing. One of the th reasons why is the left flap comes down not at the same amount as the right flap, and it give me some yaw, adverse yaw. I don't wanna deal with that yet. I'm Still working on a way to fix that. But there's a landing. You don't even really see the bounce on the wing cam review. I mean, it was a very minor bounce, all things considered. Uh, but still want to get that out of there. I want to be able to do a nice three-point landing. And that may need full flaps to pull that off. But like I said, they need some adjustment. But overall, not a bad landing. Uh, getting ready to do the taxi back here. We have to back taxi if you land on runway 9 here in Fulton County. Um, there were some other airplanes waiting to take off by this point. So I wanted to make sure we got that done. So that's it. Um, turning around for the back taxi here, and it was a, it was a good flight. I'm going to throw in a little bit of bonus footage here. If you want to just watch about the traffic pattern work, you can bail here. But doing some turns up here, uh, turns about a point, doing some just coordinated turns, trying to get a feel for a little bit more aggressive turn here. You can see a little bit of a bank angle there. Um, and I've done that in my first video that I posted as well. But just trying to get a feel for what it needs. For coordination, it's short coupled, obviously, with the design. but. It's very rudder responsive. It just needs a right rudder trim, as I've talked about. Here, do some turns back here to the left. I'll let that nose come down a little bit here and pick up some speed. Just, like I said, getting a feel. And you can watch. I won't narrate these. Um, you know, We're out here to the northwest of Fulton County doing some of these turns before we come back in and land. But if you want to watch that, feel free.
All right, well, if you've made it this far, I appreciate you taking the 10 minutes to watch my video and come along for the ride. Again, if you want to subscribe and hit the like button, it would be much appreciated. I will do flying videos of every flight of this airplane. Uh, hopefully with three GoPros, we had an issue with the in cockpit mount on the last one, but uh, we'll be narrating these as well just to give everybody an idea what we're doing out there flying around. And um, thanks for taking the time to watch.